Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at some simple but important calculations associated with the Richter scale. Now often people feel that okay an earthquake of magnitude 2 and an earthquake of magnitude 3 that doesn't make much difference it is just uh, increased by one unit but when the magnitude increases by one unit the effect of that uh, the effect of that earthquake increases by several times that's because this is a logarithmic scale now whatever value is there on the y axis y axis represents the amplitude right so let us suppose this is our y axis and this is our x axis now we know that the richer scale is based on log to the base 10 that means the value on the x axis that is the richer magnitude let me denote it as r so r is going to be equal to log to the base 10 of the value on the y axis correct so let us call the value on the y axis as 1 so let us say this is the value any value on this y axis is represented as y so as per the laws of logarithm what will be, what we can say y will be equal to 10 to the power r right that is the relation between a value on the y axis and a respective value on the x axis so the x axis value is considered as r that is the richer magnitude so that means if we say that an earthquake has a magnitude of 0 on richer scale so a richer scale of 0 that means the value of r is 0 this would imply 10 to the power 0 which is equal to 1 that means the value of y is 1 so the value of amplitude is 1 correct now a richer scale of 1 what does it mean it would mean 10 to the power 1 so that would mean 10 correct again richer scale of 2 would mean 10 to the power 2 which is equal to 100 a richer scale of 3 would mean 10 to the power 3 which is 1000 so do you see something now as the value of richer magnitude increases so the richer scale increased from 1 to 2 to 3 in fact I started from 0 so it increased just one unit on the richer scale but just look at the increase on the y axis on the y axis it increased from 1 to 10 then 100 and so on right so it the increase on the y axis is huge when compared to the increase on the x axis correct so that means we say that even though the so therefore the difference between the destructive uh, capacity of an earthquake of magnitude 4 and an earthquake of magnitude 6 is huge so the difference goes up to 10 to the power 3 times some thousand times difference just for two units so that means even a difference of one unit on the richer scale can actually make a huge difference associated with the energy of that particular earthquake so even though r increases by 1 but the amplitude increases by 10 times and that's important so now that we have understood the cause of earthquakes now we also know the fault zones so there are certain things that we can do just to handle earthquakes a little better because we cannot do anything foolproof for the protection against earthquakes because the earthquakes cannot be predicted properly so proper design of buildings in the fault zones now at least we know the fault zones for example in india we know that the northern parts of the country like jammu and kashmir northeast rajasthan uttarakhand they are more prone to earthquakes so the buildings can be designed in such a way that they do not collapse under during earthquakes so how can we ensure that for example by using light roofs the roof should be lighter so that even if the building collapse the damage caused by the lighter roofs will be less as compared to heavier roofs 
fixed cupboards and furniture. So if you have separate almiras and cupboards, what happens is when the building collapse, all those furniture also collapse and they also fall on somebody and cause harm or injuries. Now, when you have everything fixed on the wall, the chances of stuff falling over somebody else also reduces. Well equipped to handle fire because during earthquakes since everything gets messed up so the chances of uh, catching fire in a building also increases. So proper equipment to handle fire should be present. Avoid hanging heavy objects like for decoration purpose we often use wall decors or uh, uh, clocks on the wall. So such we should avoid using heavy objects because during an earthquake those objects might fall and they might injure somebody. So these are some of the small small things which can be taken care in the fault zones. Stay away from tall objects during an earthquake because the earth, the tall objects are more prone to fall down and when they fall, they will fall on somebody. So if you stay near a tall object, you, your chances of getting injured will increase. Therefore, it is always better to stay in an open area with no uh, buildings or offices nearby. So these are a few of the things which can be done to protect yourself and the property against earthquakes. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.